wanted to take you guys along with me on my reset day and there's just been so much going on. Today is just a day filled with too many things to do and of course it's a Sunday so it falls on my reset day um, and I just have way too many things to reset today. <laughs> so yeah, this morning I woke up early and I had a really nice morning to myself. I as you saw, <laughs> and I had a little bit of a meeting, I had two meetings, there were little interviews for the magazine, um, for a few positions that we had opened, and now I have to drive to my new building to get my key, to pick up my key, so that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so yeah, this vlog is not really off to a great start. It's just, I feel like it's so hard to film. I don't understand how people vlog and do things at the same time. But yeah, I look kind of pregnant for some reason, just really glowy and chubby. Um, that's okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop downtown, grab my key. I might pick up some pastries on my way back. Maybe that might be nice. I will I will update you guys once I have arrived. So I'm at my new place, my apartment, my loft. I'm so excited. It looks so good. And um, I cannot wait to move in. But I just wanted to show you all the beautiful windows. A little upstairs. I'll do a full apartment tour. Um, but I'm so excited because like everything looks so good. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Oh Just picked up some pastries at this pastry shop that I really love. It's a new one on Queen West. In case you're wondering. And my family. Now I'm gonna go home, eat some lunch, and um yeah, because I spent way too long at my apartment my apartment <laughs> but yeah so i will talk to you when i'm home i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna organize get to organizing get to catching up okay all right beautiful bye i got distracted and forgot to keep filming um but i didn't end up finishing cleaning my room but this is the reality <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to try to get a little bit of work done tonight and then read a little bit. I think I might be getting my, just trimming my bangs a little bit. Yeah, it's been an eventful day. I think I'm going to carry this vlog into tomorrow probably. Because I have to set up my bullet journal for April and I have no light to do that right now. I hate doing it in the evening. Um, yeah. I have honestly... Hate how I'm feeling right now because I like posted a picture of myself that I wasn't feeling too confident about. It's like a selfie, but it's like a skincare selfie, so I have like no makeup on, and you can kind of see my acne a little bit. And it's like not the most flattering thing, in my opinion. And I don't know why, I just feel like nobody cares. <laughs> and I guess it shouldn't matter because, like, it should just be about like me and how I'm feeling like it really shouldn't matter what other people think but this is just how I'm feeling feeling like nobody gives a shit Ugh, I hate I hate overthinking I hate feeling like this I just can't stop so I'm gonna try to just ignore it and just try to move on and try to get some stuff done because I can't think about this anymore yeah that's that update but um Plus, I think this is probably as much as I'm going to vlog. Like, I don't know if I'll vlog myself reading or not. Um, but if not, if this is the last I speak to you guys today, then I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day. Oh, I'm really bright. Okay, so it's the next day or a few days later, actually, <laughs> um, and I got my bangs trimmed so they look cute, and I am going to 
I did a sh ton of work. It's Tuesday today. I did a ton of work and oop, and I'm going to now mood board and we're going to organize ourselves a little bit. Um, I think while it's still light outside, I'm going to do my bullet journal and just try to be creative with that and take you along with me. And then I am going to edit that video, submit it <laughs> because it's a, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It's my last video with them. So that's exciting. <laughs> I will probably try to read for the rest of the day because I'm super tired and I don't know if I can work anymore, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, that's what's, that's what's happening. And I, I'm moving on Thursday, so it's like tomorrow's Wednesday, and then I'm moving the next day, which is crazy. I had a very weak drip coffee this morning, and so I deserve a nice iced coffee. So I'm gonna make that for myself. Let's go. Okay, so uh, the more light, uh, but if you're having it today, I'll then you'll the more light. I'll eat it tomorrow. Oh my room actually looks so cute. It's kind of sad to be leaving it. Get my coffee here, water. Clear this away so I can start. What I'm gonna do first is fix. I am going to find some photos that I want to mood board with. So maybe do that. break here because I've actually decided that I think I'm going to screen record my screen and make the mood board on my computer, print it out, and then paste it in my bullet journal, and then map out my journal, bullet journal for this month. Yes? Okay. So I'm starting off with finding words for that. Um, I want to feel like ways I want to feel for the month of April and then from there I'm going to try to put those words into Pinterest and find images that represent that and remind me of those words or of those feelings and then I'm going to put them all together in a little mood board. This is my last video partnership with Skillshare and I just wanted to say a big thank you and yeah Skillshare has definitely helped me over the past year really hone in on my creative abilities and dedicate time to myself when I feel like I can't figure out like an activity to do for myself because sometimes it's hard you want to be creative you want to invest in yourself creatively and you want to spend time with yourself um, but sometimes you don't really know what to do right? Like you just need a little bit of instruction and that's why I love Skillshare so much and why I'm going to continue to keep using Skillshare uh, and keep being subscribed even after this partnership. If you're not really sure what Skillshare is, it's this huge online learning community. There are so many amazing creative classes if you're interested in things like photography, illustration, um, watercolor painting, business, it really ranges. Um, there are even some really amazing writing courses. I've taken two of them so far and I'm hoping to provide my insights into them over the next couple of months as I put a video together on some writing tips and some, some tips that I use when I'm writing. My favorite class that I've taken over the past couple of months, I've already mentioned it <laughs> in my previous videos, but I'm just gonna say it again. It's Roxanne Gay's course. It's how to craft essays with impact. Um, it's been really special to be able to learn from someone who has been such an influence on my life and so inspiring to me. What's really great about this platform is it is curated specifically for learning, which means there's no ads, 
you pay the one fee per month and you get these sort of unlimited classes which is really awesome if you click the link in my description below you can get a free trial of a premium subscription and after that it's only like less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription and it's really really worth it for me let's get on with the video let's get on with mood boarding and organizing and manifesting and uh let's go
still game. So I'm just gonna put you here on the windowsill for a second. Hope they don't fall. Oh, okay, definitely gonna fall. How about like this? Maybe, we'll see. Okay, so this was my setup here. I bought this arm, tripod arm on Amazon. Uh, so they could do overhead setups. Um, and yeah, uh, this made me feel really, really good to do this and to not really talk while I was doing it or anything. Um, so I hope that you also joined and um, made your own mood board for the month. Um, but yeah, basically I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the choices for the pictures that I use. And close by to where my apartment is, there it's like pretty close relatively to the lake shore and to the beaches in Toronto. So I put this picture of a girl who's just doing yoga on the beach because it is my dream, my absolute dream to wake up every morning before the sun and I even wrote it down here and had this picture that kind of reminded me of like morning sunlight. Um, it would be so beautiful to rise every morning with the sun, especially the spring here now when the weather is beautiful. And that would be just a dream of mine to do yoga every morning um, as the sun comes up. Um, and then I also put some pictures of some beautiful fresh flowers that I think would really make my space feel very homey and lived in and just full of color. <laughs> and I think fresh flowers are just so lovely. Um, yeah, that's very literal, but I think it also can mean um, growth and perseverance um, and just really staying true to myself and celebrating my beauty as well. Obviously like a lot of books because I'm hoping to read at least 10 books this month. I included a picture of a girl with a camera because I'm hoping to be more creative. Put another picture of food. I always put a picture of food. Um, this one specifically because I am so excited to be really diving into cooking for myself again. Celebrating that and relishing in it will be a really wonderful experience and I can't wait to make meals that I wouldn't make if I wasn't alone. <laughs> I also wrote Step It Up here for April just because I think it's really time for me to dig in my heels, my foot down with myself and really get to the heart of what I need to do in order to accomplish my goals um, and be a little bit firm with myself. I included this picture here with a bookshelf because I'm setting up my bookshelves um, at my new place and I just want them to be super special. I can't wait to show you all. And then what I also included here is some of these images I used from my mood board that I did in a workshop, but I thought it was really relevant, especially to this month. I included like this really pretty um, spreadsheet here. <laughs> yeah, just called a spreadsheet pretty um, because I want to organize my budget a little bit better for my own personal self and just feel really organized and on top of things business-wise and just everything. And then also a clean desk, some painted nails. I'm hoping to just like always have my nails painted. Like that's something that's so little. But see like right now I don't have them painted and I just feel like not put together. Um, and then I wrote a little message to myself and then I have like this picture here that just says ready on it with a beautiful ombre kind of gradient. I also have a picture here of a, sh a ton of notes on books. Um, on a book page because lately I've been slacking a little bit in making notes for my books but I'm hoping that I can dive back into really like like just filling my brain with knowledge and reflecting on what I'm reading and learning because I really thoroughly enjoy reading so much more when I'm an active participant as I've mentioned I have just like a little picture of a girl enjoying her coffee, being cozy. Oh, the fire alarm. And then I wrote this little thing to myself that just says, Dear Andrea, this month is a big leap of change for you and I'm so proud of this next chapter in your life. This month will be extremely abundant and will guide you toward the woman that you are destined to become, who is already within you. Be patient and work hard and rest harder. I believe in you. Um, I think it's really important to write yourself little letters of encouragement so that you can look back on them and just 
just like know that you always had your back. I'm sorry if this is annoying, I just keep seeing this, but. Okay, and then also, as you saw, I did a different calendar setup just on one page because I feel like I didn't need that much space to have take up two pages in the calendar because I wasn't really using it that often. I just need it as like a reference point to see like what days are in, like which numbers are in which days pretty much. Um, and then I outlined some of my goals for this month, um, like move into my apartment seamlessly and paint and submit my tax return <laughs> because it's tax season, um, apply for a new credit card, gain a new client, create a budget, like I mentioned, track of stuff. Um, and then some like personal goals, like move through life with more patience and gratitude, make time for myself, which is always a goal of mine each month, read 10 books, embracing solitude and self-care. It's gonna be a little bit lonely, of course, living on my own, but I think I can really make it work for myself. And then I made a little gratitude list uh, and that's all I kind of did for my bullet journal setup today. Um, but yeah, I feel like I <laughs> want to vlog more because I don't know if this is enough content for one vlog and it's kind of all over the place to be honest. But I hope that you enjoyed it. I, I'm i going to probably read a little bit. I don't really know how to do a reading vlog. Um, does this count as a reading vlog if I talk about a book? I slowly like read away, away a couple of pages of this every morning um i just started up again like i i paused with that because i haven't been having a morning routine and finally i'm starting to have a morning routine again um but yeah this is the main book that i'm reading i i'm on page 100 so i think i might be able to finish this tonight if i edit this video quickly and submit it <laughs> I think I could finish this because it's so fast paced. Yesterday, I literally, last night, I literally read 100 pages. My next video is going to be a review of the entire series, a little bit of a book talk with a spoiler section, I think, because I just really want to talk this out as soon as I'm finished this book. So that's probably what that's going to be, just a rant of me talking about all my feels. I'll probably do a March like what I read in March and then my April TBR. Let me know if you want to see that. Vlogging makes me super nervous but I do want to get better at it because I feel like there are just so many beautiful moments in life that I want to capture for myself to look back on. As I mentioned before, this video was sponsored by Skillshare and it's my, your last opportunity to use my link with this video. Um, so go ahead and do that if you have been wanting to explore that platform. And yeah, I'm so excited for this week and I'm gonna vlog all this week. And hopefully it's a better vlog than what this one was. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, I will talk to you all later. I, yeah, see you in the next vlog or video, whichever comes out. Thank you for watching. Bye.